new information and communication technologies, artificial intelligence, robotics, they are all impacting um, every industry that you can think of, every job that you can think of. And so it is important to keep update, to have the right skills to manage uh, these technologies, to manage organizations in this very disruptive environment um, and uh, to be successful. Of course, I would say for everyone, <laughs> for everyone who is interested um, in uh, new technologies. But I would say if you ever thought of in the morning, ah, it would be cool to have your own company, then this would be the right choice, of course. Or if you're sitting in a company and think, wow, I would really want to drive change in this company. I would really want to move forward. Um, so you are thinking about entrepreneurship. Um, well, then this would be the right choice too. As long as I remember, I was fascinated about new technologies and um, so I always had a focus in my research uh, that it was um, how does, how do technologies impact people, right? How does it change the way we work? How does it change the way we live, communicate, the way we love even, right? Uh, so, um, um, and a couple of years ago I was invited to participate in a research program where we wanted to use a mediation technology with robots and this is how I fell in love with uh, robotics uh, research and AI research. Yeah. There is a very interesting study by uh, the World Economic Forum showing that in the future if you look at jobs requiring analytical mathematical skills and social skills, showing that the relevant variable are the social skills, right? So um, what we tend to forget is that with AI technologies um, and information and communication technologies, uh, you might, um, you might um, uh, automate tasks that require a lot of math skills, but you cannot automate. Uh, jobs that require a lot of social skills or personal skills like creativity or uh, um, analytical or diverse thinking and things like that. And so this is where we definitely have to put our focus in the future that we um, um, acquire these skills that cannot be automated or cannot be replaced by machines. Um, and it, the second thing is we want to control these technologies, right? We want to supervise them. So we have to acquire these skills too. And this is why we wanted to offer an MBA program that is exactly at this intersection between technology and work and organization and management. We provide, um, of course, a, 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 a wide range of most recent insights into the organization of innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, but on the other hand, we have um, a lot of courses that focus on the skills of the personal skills uh, of the people of the MBA uh, students in our program. Um, and the third block is that we always look at the transfer to practice. So we ask people to bring in their own problems from their jobs. We work on those problems during courses and classes and in the in assignments we want to bring this knowledge back to their jobs, right? <laughs>